Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at uh, another open box distribution, but this time I'm looking at a an Ubuntu open box distribution. It's an interesting distribution. They uh, use open box for window manager, and they make it much easier uh, than normal for you to use it, get used to it get comfortable with it and get it set up the way you want. Now this is called Salent OS, S-A-L-E-N-T-O-S. If you pull up their website, you can see it's, uh, it's a, a, nicely, uh, a nicely built website. Uh, you can easily download the distribution. Uh, they do have a blog and a forum that is also on the Firefox. It's a bookmarked on the Firefox that comes pre-installed. Now, the uh, wallpaper choices are uh, interesting. What they've done is, uh, it's a, it's, it's, the name um, revolves around a town in Italy called Salento, S-A-L-E-N-T-O. And the wallpapers are scenes shot locally. Evidently one of the local photographers shot some scenes locally and that's what comprises the wallpaper. Now uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, now, and I so, I'm sorry for the lighting, poor lighting. This room is a lot of backlight and so uh, the camera isn't uh, performing very well but uh, it's only me so the most important thing is the distribution. So let's take a look. Now, up in the, this is exactly what you see when you um, when you boot up. Now, this is one of the, this is not the wallpaper that came with it, but it is one of the default wallpapers. The tint two panel along the top is transparent, so it takes on the uh, color of the uh, wallpaper that you're using. Now, it does have the right click open box menu, however it also has a menu on the panel as you can see and I'll get back to the menu in a moment. But pre-installed on the panel is file manager which is PCMAN FM. Uh, then you've got your terminal, Firefox, uh, it's Geary for mail. And then you've got LibreOffice, Dead Beef, uh, it's an audio player, and the Salento Control Center, Salento, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Salent OS Control Center. I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, here you'll have the Tint 2 Configuration Manager, so uh, and then, you, of course, you've got your shutdown button. And then, after that, these are the open applications. So, let's take a look at the OS, Salient OS Control Center. Uh, they've done a really nice job. Now, one caveat, um, you should be aware that this is based on Ubuntu 14.04. It has not been updated to 16.04 as of yet. I'm hoping that they do because uh, it looks like the distribution has some merit uh, and it deserves to be further upgraded to the Ubuntu 16.04. Now, the control center consists of choosing your wallpaper, desktop effects, which is Compton. It's got a configuration uh, menu for Compton which is uh, very, very nice. It, it makes the compositing uh, setup, even though Compton is much simpler than Comp is, this makes the uh, setup quite easy. Then you've got your theme changer, icons, fonts, and settings. And then you can edit your tint to panel. Now this corresponds with the editing of the Tint 2 panel up here. There is your Tint 2 Configuration Manager. I'm going to close that out. And as you can see, it's the same thing on the Control Center. Now, this controls your panel at the top. You can add launchers. 
you can put them the, in the order that you want and you can remove them. So for example, if you wanted to remove a launcher, you can see what's there now. And if you click on add, you can certainly add easily to this. Uh, but I'm going to remove uh, the mail reader and LibreOffice and let's and as you can see they're gone instantaneously. You can select a theme for your panel. As you can see, you've got a variety of uh, looks, different looks for the tint to panel. And it's and up, down, left, right, auto hide on and off. And you can also restore the panel that you had previous. You've got preferred applications, QT4 settings. You can edit your open box files. These are your menu and RCXML file. And, and this may or may not be something that you want to get into, but they do make it easy for you to do that. You can choose your startup services. Again, it's modifying the, the auto start file but it's pretty easy to do. Just follow the same format and you can add whatever uh, applications that you want to auto start. There's open box configuration which is a theme selector and OB key uh, looks like shortcuts edit the file menu and OB logout theme manager which is your logout when you click on the button to log out you can select the look that you want for that you can edit your login options uh, your light DM greeter set auto login users and groups you can configure your system And these are all uh, fstab, grub, a lot of configuration files. Uh, this happens to be the sources list that I'm looking at. So you've got a lot of configuration options. Kernel remover, you've got your network configuration, PC information, CPU, graphics, audio, so basically plugs in the command uh, at the command line to bring up the information that you want to see. System and processes, all, and a hardware report. And again, this is pretty unique. Uh, you don't see this in every distribution. Um, I think it's a, it's a lot of information at your fingertips. Synaptic, and then there's the Update Center, which I find to be very, very nice. You can update. Again, it plugs in the proper command line entry to achieve that function. Update, upgrade, dist upgrade, apt auto remove, apt clean, and sources list. So if you want uh, ba basically, sudo app get update. There it is. Just click on it and it runs the uh, function for you. And so, again, th uh, this is not something that you see with every distribution. Uh, you've got mouse and touchpad, screen resolution, printer, keyboard layout, power management. You can adjust your mix, uh, mixer, test your sound. Front, left, front, right, front, left, front, right. And there's the license. So we'll close that out. Now, as you can see, they've made it quite easy for you to uh, have a comfortable feel with open box. It's not something that is uh, going to seem to be uh, difficult to use. They make it very easy. Now, Going back to the menu, again, it's up on the panel, but it's also at right-click. 
You've got a root file manager, terminal, text editor, web browser, run command, pigeon, synaptic, and wallpapers. For wallpapers, as I said, they're scenes around the town of Salento in Italy. And let's see. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure which wallpaper came with it, but uh, as you can see, there are there's a quite a variety. Okay, so then on the menu you've got file manager, that's your home folder, and then applications are by uh, category. So accessories, education games. I did install Steam. It functioned properly. I did install Play on Linux but ended up removing it because I could not get Battle.net and Hearthstone to run properly. I think if they upgraded to 1604 that would probably help. Graphics. Again, Firefox. I installed Google Chrome without any issues. LibreOffice. Um, I installed Wine, but as you can see, everything populates automatically, including the icons. I didn't have to regenerate the menu at all. Sound and video, I, I installed Kazam, GUVC View, SM Player, OpenShot, System Tools, GDebi, Network Tools, Tint 2 Panel. I installed the Unet Boot in uh, Preferences. Now I installed the additional driver uh, program because I had not seen the driver manager. Uh, but the driver manager is here. Let's take a look at it. I've already installed. I've already installed Nvidia and Broadcom. And it says, but I, I installed NVIDIA, I, I installed Bro Broadcom manually, so it says this device is using a manually installed driver. Continue, and, and I could just click continue using it. But Broadcom is functioning fine, and I have installed NVIDIA 352 using the driver manager. So NVIDIA and Broadcom are both operating properly. And as you can see, most any uh, uh, preferences uh, configuration option is available. Uh, there's really nothing that, uh, I mean, everything is here. So they've done a, a really nice job putting this together. Now, also on the menu, you've got Salient OS Control Center, the Update Center, Compton Settings, then you've got individual open box settings. And I, uh, in order to generate a, um, a new menu for, for, for just for a little bit of information for you, if you're using open box and it gives you these options, the one I use is generate a pipe menu with icons. Pipe menus are the opposite of static. Static is the same, pipe menus um, vary depending on, on what you've installed. So if you generate a pipe menu with icons, you'll have, it'll update along with all of the icons. Or you can update, you can do a pipe menu updating without icons. And then you've got Tint 2 configuration and your logout theme manager. So as you can see, everything is here. So this is uh, Salient OS based on Ubuntu 14.04. Um, it looks like a nice distribution, especially if you wanna get used to using OpenBox. It uh, holds your hand a little bit and provides a lot of the functionality of OpenBox easily accessible. So you don't have to go searching for ways to modify, ways to change things. So all in all, um, if you want to get into OpenBox but you prefer an Ubuntu distribution, 
by all means, Salient OS is one that you should look at. So that's it for Salient OS, guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.